Oh my goodness, it's the number three team on the ladder. Okay. <laughs> well, if we somehow won, this would be amazing for us. But most likely, this is going to be very difficult. Welcome in, everyone, for game number 23 of the Elf Union run. We've spun into the third ranked team on the whole ladder. Uh, Trinidadi. Uh, coached by any proxy who is seriously good coach um, he's got undead with a block guard mighty blow movement up mummy I hate it so much a block guard are they also mighty blow mummies but yeah block guard mummy um, a break tackle mighty blow guard tackle white a guard stand firm white movement uh, sorry an agility 2 plus a uh, ghoul uh, bl but that's got blood step and sure hands. This one's got blood step as well. One, two dirty players. Uh, Dauntless Ghoul. That doesn't affect us. Um, 13 players, three rebuilds. I mean, this, is, this isn't good for us. This isn't good at all. Probably the answer here is two kegs. Um, I say the answer like it's a real answer rather than just the best we can do. I, like we, we could take a bribe, but fouling undead not generally that good we could take a bias ref which would at least discourage them from fouling but again like we don't have dirty players so we'll be fouling players with regen we're probably not gonna knock over that many of them i think we uh we just take the option that gives us the best hope of uh having players on the pitch in the second half thank you for the follows lloyd white and bryden cheney Hey, did you do, man? I don't know if there is a good matchup, Raven, but we've been doing pretty well, right? You just saw the record. We only um, we only have uh, um, how much turn do they have? One, two. One turn's going to be possible. It's likely to be very hard, but it's going to be possible. Isn't armor down on this one? It's worth keeping in mind. I think it's still just a throw on the bench because we get three rerolls for defending anyway and it's just a piece we can't really like look after um, yeah I don't know if there are good matchups but we've managed to make an alright go of the matchups we've had so All right, let's give this a try. Give this a try. Did I say, hey, did you do a man? Hey, did you do a man? Glad I pronounced it well, Brian. Thanks, Bill. I mean, you never know, right? We're up against a very good coach on a team that looks pretty unfavorable for us to match up. But you never know. It's bird pole. Things can happen. Things can happen. The good news is with their ranking, if we were to get even a draw, that would be great. Um, that would that would definitely bring our ranking up, right? Like a draw is going to help us, not them. Um, and if we lose, hopefully it shouldn't take us down too much. Like we're definitely some way below where they are. I was wondering on stream yesterday if anyone was going to be trying to dislodge um, k Folk from the number one spot because k Folk does a very strong record in the number one spot. And uh, number one obviously is like an automatic ticket to the world champs. So perhaps we have our answer. Brilliant coaching. Gets us a 4-3 roll. That's nice. We've got a fifth one on the bench. So yeah. Not sad to have more rerolls. Not sad to see the mummy take a swing and a miss either. That one is a knockdown, sadly. But Spleggy's a champ. Doesn't get hurt. Dukes, are you a champ as well? 
Dukes is a champ. Doesn't get hurt. Let's go. Ek, can you match the last two? Ek, I believe in you. <gasps> Look at this team of heroes on the line. Nothing but champions. Just sacrifice your diet enough that it'll be fine. Maybe. Champions. Keep surviving. I mean, one of you might be about to get trod on because there are two dirty players here. But we'll just have to see. This zombie has a broken arm, which apparently has not, has not changed its passing ability. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should have protected this money tackle piece. Probably should have done, to be honest. That was probably a mistake if my tackle get hit. The thing is, like, something has to get hit. Well, there you go. We're not happening that. It's gone for the game. So we've got no tackle now to deal with the goals. You have to let something get hit, right? Like, you can't... You've got too many positions here. Like, if we don't let that get hit, it's either a catcher or it's our guard piece. So maybe it should be the guard piece. Guard piece has got higher armor. Um, but it's, uh, it's not like you have um, amazing choices. We still have our wrestle. Snake. Oh, for a second. For a second, I wanted to believe it could be a snake. Uh, is there a hyper aggressive plate at the ball? I think there is. Three plus two plus. Three, two, two, two. So one, three, and four twos for one dice. Into red dice. So you'd be looking for like a five plus with the wrestle. Hmm. It's one of those plays which I think is probably not the right choice, but when you're playing against a good coach, you consider the high risk plays more because you're not going to keep getting great chances against them, right? Like, so a three and three twos against another coach, I'd say, no, I think I'll get a better chance than that against any proxy when he's already got the team into a cage i'm not so sure the thing is though if i go for this and i fail it this piece is then getting fouled out 100 percent of the time right like that's what they're going to do and if we lose this piece and we really are losing options for the whole game and that's why i'm a bit more hesitant um the recovery is not likely to be amazing even if we get it Pushing straight down into... I mean, you never know. It could come out this way. No, I don't, I don't think it's... I don't think it's right. I don't think it's right. Worth considering, but... I don't think it's right. I'll take that. So we're 10 on 10. Um, Only L sneakers I found out this morning. Someone in chat was saying a second ago, Bloodborne, that I need to give you some elf coaching. 
I'm just I'm just repeating what chat said, but there was a rumor going around that you needed my help learning to elf. Hey Nakdwaka. Grave mistake, yeah. I was I was gonna say you and I was like, was it grave mistake? I think it was. Elvin Union best team. I, I enjoy the team that you've got up there in the uh, Masters Nakdwaka. It's played an awful lot more games than our team has, but I like the arm wraps. Very fun. We've been having a blast with this run. We've been really, really enjoying this team a lot. So. Okay, they're going to come after our guard. I figured they might go after the guard. Mm. Hey, JD Whitey. I'm the UK's number one elf coach. I think that's not a claim that I can back up, but I am an elf coach who has fun playing elves. I have to disagree with you, Nachtwaka, because Collie specifically has had guard for a really long time. What she needs is dodge. She really needs dodge and she refuses to get it. Not that it would have helped her here because this has got tackle anyway. Maybe I should have stepped away from the uh, dirty player here. I don't know that he'll foul here, though, just because he is already on um, 10 for this drive and... There's no bribe, so if you foul here and get sent off for a stun, you're suddenly like numbers down against elves, which doesn't sound too hot. <laughs> I got an award for best elf coach at a specific tournament. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't for all of the UK. Much so, I'd love to claim it. Maybe someone said in in jest that it was that. Okay, yeah, guess the second punch is way that's. What I figured they were probably going to do with that instead of fouling. Do you get another removal? Boo. Okay, at least it's only KO. At least our keg's going to do something, hopefully. It's another hit. Okay. All right. Hmm. It's just so tough. It's just so tough with this team like there. Again, like very difficult racial matchup against a coach who knows what he's doing. Like I think I'm going to want to get this in front, get that in front, sit that behind. Could surf that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Problem is, like, because the guard here, you've got to either start at a one dice or give yourself no whip out, out afterwards. So it's either one dice into one dice. We haven't got Juggernaut yet. We're so close to Juggernaut, but we don't have it yet. Um, Still a part of me that wants if I should have just gone for the ball on turn one. A three and a three and three twos, I think it was, or was it four twos? Um, for a one dice on the ball with Russell. Maybe, maybe it should be the player. I, I do think with hindsight, I wish I hadn't put this player in there, in the line to get hit. It's easier to say with hindsight, but the tackle just have a threat. Probably I needed it, but it would have been this getting hit instead. So. As I said at the time, no, no, no easy choice. Yes. 
You can do the three dice. Yeah, because they haven't got dodge, so tackle doesn't matter. Oh, I hate that you don't have dodge, Collie. And we've tried so bloody hard to get it as well. We're not stopping them going forward here anyway, so you might as well just move to the spoil. There's slightly less assists on the foul. If they go for it. Foul's like probably a little bit more tempting than it was last turn, just because they've got a second removal, so it wouldn't risk putting them down players. Oh, the one SPP for Juggernaut on Lionhouse would make such a difference here. Like, I'd love to be able to make this sideline scary for the for the mummy, but we're just one SPP away. Dodge would have kept Collie up there as well. Oh, we tried so hard last game to get her dodge. <laughs> Dice simply were not having it. And have not been having it for Collie for a few games. Okay, so ball isn't coming that far, which I think makes sense. They've got some stand firm, but they still have to be at least a little bit careful here on the sideline. Right, stunned and hopefully for send off. No, never for a send off. No one ever gets sent off fouling my players. I swear, like it's bugged. Like it just doesn't happen. Uh, this one does not have block. Uh, we could take a hit on this mummy. Uh, probably are going to take out the mummy. The mummy puts that. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. Lovely. Pro not helping us out, so we're just gonna have to give up a free mummy here. Uh that sucks. Needs to be stunned in the DP. Today I tried a wrestle strip ball jump up catcher. That does sound fun. Is that some fun randoms? Okay, they're pushing on now. Which it's like a bit of a dilemma for them, right? Like. There's always a, a slight risk of pushing too quickly. And we have got some of their players not coming with, right? Like this is not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. This mummy's going to take that block, I'm sure. So we're going to slightly split their team here. Are we not doing rushes here? Okay. Push. It's got a stab. I think we just stay on here. I mean, they've got like a two plus dodge because they got break tackle, but make them do it. Make them roll it. Or not. Stay there and we'll get a free hit on them. They're armor busted, so very happy to take a free hit on that. Very happy to take a free hit on the armor busted. Uh, well, that's annoying. One dice pal. Okay, at least not the arm break. You're definitely going to be up here. Pretty sure we've got one dice on the ball here. Pretty similar to what we had on turn one. This time it's three twos and one three for a one dice. Make this a two dice. That gets into there. 
That goes there. Problem is you have to do the four plus at the end. But again, like maybe it's worth it against any proxy. Other option is just to keep splitting their team. Really want you to die. Like really, really want you to die. Didn't die. I wish you had dodge, Collie. Like, this wouldn't even be such a horrible place to stand up if you had dodge, because this hasn't got tackle, but it doesn't have dodge. Like, we're not going to go for the ball. Maybe I'm being a coward. Probably I'm being a coward. All right. Um, I don't like it. It's just too fast. Break some legs, please. It's too speedy for my eyes. This is going to be decisive. Here's the power wanted. We don't want you getting to pull the team back together, so we have to put you here as a sort of screen to that. Do this after. Good. Hmm. Still quite a lot of players on the side of it, haven't they? <laughs> hey Tarek. Hey Tarek. Just if we knock this over, which was like 55%, because it was block this and block. 55%, and we put the reroll in as well. If we'd knock this over, um like a reasonable chance to break armor. It would have been two goes that turn to break armor on eight plus. And I think then just it starts to feel a bit skinnier for them. We didn't, so we're going to three dice this. I'm going to take that first. I forgot that's not even bits, is it? I'll just take that hit. Okay, at least they didn't knock us over back. They could now go for this. I think they probably will. Okay. Size is pretty good for the mirror, isn't it? Yeah. So doing the blitz, I guess. No power. That's good. Thinking about greedy reroll. If we had size step here, but things were not. We could have taken size step. We're saving for juggernaut, which I still think is the right choice. Do what to do. Um, so now it's a four plus, but we could go straight in for four plus one dice into one dice. Which maybe isn't the worst. Like at some point, we're gonna have to try something, right? Like the ball is now here, and I think uh, this mummy's just gonna continue making our life a pain. Don't see that we're going to be able to hit that. 
This has got side steps, so you in here. Um, can I hit that? Could hit that. We need to fall over. And we still wouldn't have a good hit on this. No, I think we can stick with that part of the plan. Good. Ah, bloody mummies won't fall over. Um, seventy five percent to get in, seventy five percent chance to have that uh, hit on the ball. But it didn't happen for us. Mm. Elf time. We tried. We tried to do some elf time. Elf things haven't quite been working out for us. Now the good news is if they want to foul it, it either has to be not with a zombie or this zombie has to do a dodge and a GFI. So at least there's that. Bad news is because we couldn't knock the mummy down. The mummy's removed another of our players. Maybe we shouldn't have tried to knock it down. Maybe we should have just left something on it and dodged everything else to put more pressure on this. All easy to say and to think with hindsight. If I step in here, will they surface? Definitely, so we'd have to step out. Um, guess just there. Maybe we should have gone down, we've made it easier for that to hit it. I assume they will. Yeah, yeah, I should have gone down. Not that, I would have made one, would have been one rush difference. I'm sure they still would have done it, to be honest. Sure, they still would have done it. Okay, at least that's not dead. It's looking like this isn't going to work out for us this drive. I think you've now got to foul this if you're staying here. Okay, that's not doing anything. You're just going to... Trust we can do the four plus dodge. See, that's really annoying because we couldn't do our four plus dodge and they made theirs. And if we'd made our four plus dodge, this one this might not have mattered. And for the second time, not even the second time, for what feels like the millionth time, an opponent has got away with fouling us because opponents literally cannot get sent off fouling us. Doesn't happen. It's like the one thing in Blood Bowl that has been secretly removed is fouls against tree causing removals. Someone was like, let's just quietly delete that part from the game.
That's nice there. Oh, why do they always regen? Someone, like, once not regen. That would have been huge to not have that for the one turn. Absolutely massive player for them. Oh, but they always regen. Oh, but hang on. That did get Collie Dodge, which she'll now die anyway. But if she doesn't die. I didn't realise that I has finally got Collie to Dodge. So there's something. There's our consolation. Um... Hmm, Cody has finally got the SVP for Dodge. We have been trying to get that for a really long time, so she will inevitably die now. Someone called that last game. They said when she finally gets it, she's just going to die. So probably that's what's about to happen. But we can dream. Oh man, that's such a big regen. If that had stayed out, that would have been huge. Hmm. Going for the three dice here. Gets the pal. I can need it because I need to file that. Again. Why don't things ever get sent off? Things always regen and things never get sent off. If either a regen had failed or a sending off had happened, this situation would look very different. Grump. Just one dicing this. I got a block drone. There's no, I guess you can go all the way around. Of course it is. I'm so annoyed. Like there's a third foul and they never get caught. Like literally, like doubles do not exist for our opponents. Oh, and the Apo fails. And now Collie dies, so use the Apo. I feel like we've been really unlucky here. Like, that didn't even get to do a foul if it didn't do a 4 plus dodge. The only reason that had a chance to do a foul is because we failed a 4 plus dodge. It's done three fouls without getting sent off. And on top of that, they made their 4 plus to regen as well. Like, can we have a thing? Because this was a tough matchup to begin with. And like having every dice go against us, not making it easier. Urgh. I say before rolling a double skull. Like we had a real chance to hit their ball, which fails on exactly the same odds as their dodge to foul us succeeding. If they fail their dodge to succeed to, to foul us, we just have a hit on the ball. Like, they had the same odds there of us hitting the ball. Like, if they fail that, we just have a hit on the ball. Like, it's literally a turnover and we hit the ball. Instead of which, makes their 4+, plus and then gets to keep fouling us just with impunity forever. Hmm... Why can't a ref just send off our opponents for fouling first time once? Like, you'd think that would happen eventually. It happens in every game we get fouled. Like, literally no opponent is not fouling Proud Elves. We didn't even get all of our two plus KOs back. Ugh. Well, this is going to be a loss. The question is how many players are going to die on the way to the loss, I think. Yeah, it's, it just it feels like it's game after game talking about it. It feels like every game on this team, our opponents are just allowed to foul us. Like it's not a thing that like getting caught is happening. And what's like extra aggravating is 
I just think about my Super League games where I tried to do a couple of like really specific fouls on like war dance and stuff that got sent off. And I was caught every flipping time. Like not once did we get away with it. And yet, like when our opponents do it, it just feels like it's just endless on this run. Like it feels like there is not one game in this run where their opponent's just been caught. So I think they should just backline here. Like if you put this in the line and backline, I think it works. You've given us like a a difficult but possible one turn here. Um, get the frenzy round. I mean, it's difficult. Probably it's easy to go for this one. You need to put three there. Like three a there. fucking no, we don't have players, do we? Booby. Because we need to get three in there. Three in there. Um, I think we play for the quick snap. Like timeout, obviously amazing. With a quick snap here, we could definitely do the three there, three there. Dodge into here, one push puts it in range. Um, yeah, okay. Play for the quick snap. I think that's. I think that's the most realistic we've got. Which is not to say it's terribly realistic, but. It's a chance. Let's assume we're not going to get it and we're going to want to take that punch. Let's, um, oh, we haven't got our frenzy. Well, it definitely only works. It definitely only works with uh, the quick snap then. So we'll set up for the quick snap. Um, with a quick snap, this does work. With a quick snap, it's actually a really fun 110 where we get to show off and feel fancy about our fancy clever one turn. But um, most likely we won't get that chance. This is why this needs sprint, which it's very close to getting. Cheering fans. One of theirs gets um, minus one. Yeah, so just to show you like what I would have done, like if we quick snap, we're here. We fill all these squares. We fill those two squares. And then you've got to bring this round, do a dodge in here on a three plus. You push down, you push down, you push down, and we have the free thing. So actually, like it's, um, it's very, very doable with a quick snap. Like it becomes quite easy. And I think for that reason, they're better off just backlining against, given they've got these players to put on the line. Um, but worked out for them anyway. Um, just go hit the kick piece. Well, it's Daka for a draw now. It's the best we're going to do. And I think it's going to be very tough to get. But we'll try. We will try. I just, yeah, grr, it's gone. Have to let it go. I feel like we're, we're at such a disadvantage in this game that we needed a little bit of luck, not for our opponent to have bags of luck. And I'm probably overstating that luck, but 
I don't know, like for us to fail the four plus dodge, only for them to make the four plus dodge and the foul, and then to not get caught in all those fouls. That is quite a lot of luck. It is quite a lot. A draw would be, a draw would definitely be a good result. It's going to be a very difficult result to get, but it would be a good result. I feel like they're encouraging us to go for a quick score. Like this is a very aggressive uh, lineup. It's like designed to get pressure quickly on attacker, I think. So that's what I'm I'm reading from this. They're trying to get us to score quick. Is there an argument for taking what they give us? Problem is, if we go into space behind, we, we will not score on turn eight. Like, if we go behind them now, there's no chance we get to turn eight. Which is why they want us to do it. Um, Okay. Daka will be, I look, anything we do is going to be rough. This team is better than us. <laughs> like this team is just better than us and it's got a good coach. Um, so uh, anything we do is going to be rough. Vicious Ref has done what? It's done one of those, okay. Um, it's a short kick, so I think we need to get the ball first. Okay, no, not doing it. Rather keep the team alive. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that is a wimp's way out. But with the Apo gone, sneaking the first roll in that position to give my whole team hits, it's not worth it. We're not going to gain enough from this game. <laughs> like, we only lose 17 SR for the game. I know that's a coward's way out, but the apothecary was gone. I like this team. I didn't want to lose it all on that um, first line of scrimmage. So there you go. We conceded one. We haven't conceded one. Well, we haven't conceded one this whole run, I don't think. We've thought about it a couple of times. Um, but uh, that one was the one that uh, tipped me over. Sorry to everyone watching on YouTube. Not a proud ending to that one. We can add a dodge on Collie, though. So at least we got something positive out of the game. And if you are watching on YouTube and you don't hate me for conceding, hit that like and subscribe. Yeah, no, that, that was not worth playing out. That was not going to end well for us. Um, like, obviously, if it's like a NAF style game, you play it out and see what happens. But we still think this team has a future. And if this team has a future, you don't play that out. Um, too much too much that we're likely to lose on that. Um, with the Apothecary gone. If I saw the Apothecary, different conversation. But I didn't. The Apothecary was out, so... Uh, next game is going to be a horror show because we have neither of our sacking pieces. Um, but we will be low TV. Mm -hmm. Problem is these are both going to come back. So I don't know whether to give these players names because they might not. They might not last more than the game. So we're going to go Guinness. And we're going to go chat. There you go, chat. You're on the team. And we will hit the expense mistakes. We would probably do a game like that. It just sucks. I feel like the two games we've had really like frustrating dice have both been the two times we've had a big chance to climb the ladder quickly. Like, 
any proxy was number three on the ladder. Like, it was a win there would have given us a huge, like, boost. And the other game where it wasn't necessarily, like, bad dice the whole game, but there was a game we lost where it was... Um, we were in position to score on turn 16 unless their goblin did... They had to do, like, a double rush with one goblin and then three dodges and a double rush and roll a six. They had to roll a straight power with another goblin and they did all of that and we're like, okay, wow. So, like... We were likely to win until that happened. But okay, we still had a chance. And then we snaked. And then they did like a goblin pickup, double rush, pass to a big un, big un, double rush, hand off to a blitzer, score, all without a reroll. So like that one was not like the whole way through crazy dice, but it was just at the end. So it's like the two times we've played coaches who were like really high up, we could have just made that jump to master quickly, have been the times when the dice have felt most obnoxious. Any proxy now, 40. Well, good luck to any proxy. It's good for the ladder if there's competition there at the top. But I'll be very uh, keen not to spin into him again right now, please. <laughs> the good news is since he's chopped our TV down, we probably won't. Or if we do, they're going to have a heap of inducements, I guess. Next game is going to be horrendous for us, though, because we're now... Um, we've got no sacking options next turn, this next game. We could have signed another catcher here, but the problem is, like, because we don't have those good options, I think we're better off just being, like, as cheap as we can. Like, we don't have... We don't have ways to attack the ball if we would sit into another big team. So, lower TV is better, is what I'm telling myself. We did get the two SVP on Collie, which we've been waiting for for a long time, so... At least Collie now has Dodge. And Collie's now here in chat. Hey, Collie. And Day Day. How is everyone? It's been a really long time since I can see. Again, like we are 23 games on this stream. On this team, we didn't concede any of them. So it has been a really long time since we conceded. Apparently, according to Andy Davos presentation the other day about a quarter of games on the ladder are being conceded so we're doing better than most <laughs> that was a brutal instance maker wasn't it jeez like i was i was really going to try that daca which was going to be a hard daca but like instant snake to leave both blitzers and a catcher to get hit on the line all with mighty blow with no Apo. I feel like you're allowed, as as Elf Union, in a run, you're allowed at least one Coward's game. And that was my Coward's game. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Maybe it was maybe it was better for the long term health of the team, right? Like because I snaked that I didn't try to play it out and so players didn't get hurt. Maybe it was secretly the right thing. When was the last loss? It was this one, okay. Thanks for the follow, Fedra. I think we should take away from that game that we were like a dogs. Exactly, Regs. Shenanigans. Carly will now be a, a force of nature. We can hope. I mean, listen, it would have saved her getting knocked down a couple of times in that last game, so it's definitely a big difference to have it. I say right before someone just smashes her anyway and kills her. Oh, the I've got to change it. I should be changing these uh, to temp linemen. Everyone's got like a new helmet. I forgot. It's I haven't changed anything except for their helmet. I gave them this undaunted of Athel Lauren. We decided to full customize the team.
so chat talked me into buying this elf union blitzer outfit that was on the shop the other day and i did have the blitzers wearing these bird type masks but um we switched the blitzers with the catches so the catches now have them i really like the bird mask i think they're wicked I like the beaks and so then we thought we'd give the thrower so salty salt the the light crown headwear and I wanted to get something for the lineman, so I had a look in the shop and I decided that was the face mask I liked best out of what was left. Um, thank you for the follow, caveman. Welcome, welcome. What's everyone guessing for new team next season? I can't say anything because I might know the answer. <laughs> okay, we've got Le Marseille, so that's another good coach. But, um, but it's not a rematch with uh, any proxy. I might know the answer, yes. I might know the answer. Chorfs. Hendy wishes it was chorfs. Fire breathing chorfs. This is as much as I'm going to say. I know the answer and I personally am excited. That's what I'm going to say. Okay, this probably isn't a high SR team because the fan factor is three, which suggests they probably haven't been doing great recently. Oh, they're actually pretty much identical with this. My goodness, when have we ever had an SR matchup against someone who's just got like the same SR? That's crazy. Played a bunch more games and they have this horror for us to worry about. Um, who's first here? Them, okay. Welcome into game number 24 of our Elf Union run. Uh, 23 and a half maybe after the uh, concession last time. I'm sorry guys, I'm a coward. Um, we've spun into Le Marseille with a Necromantic, another known coach, good coach Le Marseille. Um, as you can see, they haven't lost a lot of games on this run. I'm surprised their dedicated fans are so low. Maybe they just had a couple of rough games in a row. Um, They've got a very scary block, mighty blow, dauntless tackle werewolf. A block werewolf. Block guard. Oh, well, they started block, don't they? A guard wraith, a uh, baby wraith, a uh, baby golem, a stand. Oh, they start with sand firm. A guard flesh golem. So, slightly low development on these players compared to some teams we've seen recently. But the thing I'm most worried about is they've got a sneaky get dash pack ghoul. Although they've also only got one ghoul. So who's the ball carrier? I guess it's this wolf here probably because they want to get SVP on it. I wonder if something died. Um, not really much we can do here, so I'll just take a couple of assistant coaches. <laughs> get in the bin, Star Ferret. So last time we played Necromantic, we said, well, we can't one turn on them, so let's take the ball first. And it worked out well for us last time, so let's do it again. Let's see if it works twice. But if you're only running, running one ghoul, having that ghoul being your main fowler feels pretty spicy. I mean, it's a good fowler, right, with sneaky gear. Although, as we've established, our opponents don't really need sneaky gear. They should just foul anyway. Um, but... Yeah, like, it, when you're playing coaches that aren't me, you might get sent off. So, obviously, if you found me, you won't get sent off. But if you found other teams, you might get sent off, even as you can get. I, I'm a big fan of sneaky get, dirty player on, like, any team. Like, it's such a good combination. And, like, um, I definitely see it making sense on undead because you've got four ghouls but when you only have two ghouls and in this case only one it feels like feels like maybe you're going to want those ghouls for other things I mean obviously like Le Marcier has a great record here so I think I should like counter that by saying what do I know 
but um yeah that was just like my like instinctive reaction to it i guess we're going to do the daca we failed to do last time that's the plan well they only have three on this team jlev because they don't have the second goal at all Now, of course, we are missing our wrestle and our tackle for this game, so we actually have no tools to hit their bodger with. And they've rolled a blitz. Well, the good news is that the Dakar is at least fairly, like, robust against the blitz. It doesn't give them free uh, free movement through to get this ball. But the bad news is they're going to base us up and punch something. Their only tackling mark tackle mighty boat is on Frenzy. So if they want to hit this, if they want to hit any of our players with the mighty boat this turn, they would risk a... Uh... I mean, this is mad. Like, why wouldn't you at least use block? You've got all six. Okay. I don't understand that at all. But okay. Maybe they just want the SVP on this player. Yeah, they want the SVP on this player. It's called for SVP. Um... But like if that just rolls a wine nine and you don't get to do any of the basing, like that being your first action seems crazy to me. Um Oh no, I'm teaching someone on Blood Bowl tonight and I really want to practice game of vampires for league, so that's what a terrible team to match against. Yeah. Do not teach someone Blood Bowl as vampires. That is just mean. <laughs> Disgruntled Orc. What is your priority here? Is it your personal imp uh, improvement on vampires or is it helping a new coach learn the game? Because if it's a brand new coach, I don't think you should start them against vampires. <laughs> I think that's a terrible idea. And quite mean. Uh can't easily blitz any of this, so I think we're just dodging as far as we can. <laughs> you can figure out the vamps later, exactly. Figure out the vamps against someone who's played Blood Bolt before. <laughs> Thought we had another instant snake there, but thankfully not. Mm. Didn't miss you behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two. Could surf that. Not totally impossible. Hey, good job. Mm. Didn't pick the ball up because I didn't want to risk snaking that when I had other players still to dodge, or even having to spend a reroll on that when I had other players still to dodge. So I'm just trusting in Elves being able to pick up the ball next turn. How many different units the vampires get? Vampires don't get ghouls and thralls. Vampires get uh, vampires and thralls. And they get Vargeist, which are like their big guy. He's playing Undead. I've got Skaven. Uh, Pro Elves. Nurgle, Corn, Underworld or Amazon Hand to teach with. Out of those, I'd probably say Pro Elves or Skaven. Because Nurgle are exhausting. For the first ever game. Corner a bit too like weird for a first ever game. Amazons are just going to frustrate him because if he's new to the game and he can't knock anything over, that's gonna make them have a bad time. 
So I would choose one of the low armor teams and let him at least have the satisfaction of getting to smash your players sometimes. Some people like the Vargas J Lev. Didn't Dementor do really well with the with the uh, Vargas recently? Oh man, I'm so sad not to have my frenzy for this game. He hated it. There you go. <laughs> But he had it though. <laughs> sure, he had a miserable time, but he did use it. Um, okay, so. Can't stay out of the range this turn, so we're just doing what we do here. Also, didn't really think about when I was considering this deck of the fact that I'm not only down the frenzy, I'm down the catcher that's attached to the frenzy, so I'm down movement for a decker, which does hurt too. But. We did what we did. And, well, to be fair, we got Blitz anyway, so probably even if I hadn't intended to Dakar, I probably still would have ended up doing this Dakar because of the Blitz. Don't think Marseille Fast didn't face any Dakars. I don't think they're doing anything wrong here. This looks like a pretty sensible anti Dakar to me. They've put stand firm and sidestep on the line they've given them support inside so it's not so easy to push through them i don't think there's anything like terrible about what they're doing here i think it all all looks like a pretty sensible anti decker to me oh what did they say lady defay what was the information okay so they're coming in here for the hit Guess they'll move that flesh column out now. Just as done is great. I mean, it's not great, but it's better than it being removed. <laughs> it's better than it could have been. I think this is all pretty sensible. I think they're, they're making, um, they're definitely setting up here in a way that's going to make this uh, tricky. I have, uh, I have thoughts, but nothing that's like amazing. Yeah, I think we have to take this opportunity of this coming inside. So I think we jam the guard in here. Getting hit with mighty bow. Like, let's be realistic about this. Mm. Even cutting the corner, you can't get anywhere. It's 
very sensible. I guess we're sidestep that isn't horrible if we've got someone here. Do we full commit? I'm gonna leave all these players behind though. I think we probably don't. I think we just wanna get these and this. So We really like someone here, but we didn't have a spare player to get there, so. At the very least, this, this is always a bit you get to on the Dakar, is like, can we disrupt what they're trying to do? And I think this has successfully disrupted their, like, nice line, so now they have to think about what they do next. Not getting a pal on that is obviously good for us. Not going to give them a free hit. Even though, like, it's a little tempting to trust in Blodge and see if we can get that all the way through there just to be like really well positioned, but I think I'd rather just keep Collie alive, thanks. Feel filthy, turn one code, mighty Zug on a 1D. That sounds like something to feel good about, not filthy about. <laughs> that sounds like something to feel great about. Evidence of pure skill, exactly. So now they've got definitely like a, a like a slightly tricky question to answer about like what to do, right? Like, do you prioritize these players who are through? Do you prioritize Collie, who's holding these two up and potentially gives us an assist? Or do you prioritize putting pressure on the ball? Like I think there's like an argument for each of them, and like each of them has downsides as well. Oh, snake would be nice. Not a snake. Man, that would have been a nice snake. We could have done some great things with that snake. So I think they're going to come all the way around and blitz this. Maybe not. Maybe they're just going to go here. Probably don't want to blitz the side step. I just could side step, but maybe. Like, I feel like this has come all the way around and blitz the catcher. Knockdown, gets removal, gets casualty. Okay, well, that's why we have a bench. I wish we had a deeper bench, but we have a bench, so. <laughs> this is definitely like, I wish I had another catcher territory. Because what I'd like to do is to bring this lot this way send those that way, give them two sets of things to worry about. Um, obviously, like, not having the uh, second catcher does make all of that just, like, a bit less good because we can't go as far this way. But I think it's still the plan. We could push through here and surf this. Like, we could, we could make, like, a ridiculous overcommit and surf that wraith, but I think it would be a ridiculous overcommit, so let's not. <laughs> um, let's choose to not do the silly thing. I 
I'm going to cut the corner here and I'm going to lift your right out, aren't I? But you only need to play with block. And if I don't cut the corner, I haven't got movement to move back afterwards. Okay, didn't work out that. Didn't get the power, sadly. Well, we need to rush still. Good counting tree. Excellent work on the old counting. Very glad that wasn't a snake. Try to keep one of their fast players from not moving because we've got this player here whose movement six is all the way on the far side of the pitch. Um, so if we can stop this movement six player from moving as well, that would be good. I did think should I've done some rushes here, or maybe I should have brought it down here instead of going up. I think I should have thought more, spent more time thinking about that that, that movement choice. I think could still hit this catcher but if you want to two dice it you've got to either bring the ghoul back or you're doing two rushes on the rave hey feeling also hey otter i don't know if i said hey before i feel like i'm not doing the best job on chat tonight i'm sorry guys getting distracted by the game going to sandwich that rather than hitting it. Thinking the hit might be here from the way they're setting up. Definitely nice to have you free. Gives us options. Okay, they're going for this. Okay, there is no square we can go to for a one dice, so we might as well go up and hope we don't get powered. Okay, doesn't put the second rerun in, that's great. Good job, a kind sir. Living the dream, a kind sir, always living the dream. Nobody lives the dream like a kind sir. It's playing pearls must be a pain, I forgive you. <laughs> Definitely like at this point of the run, they're a team that requires a lot of thinking. I mean, I think most teams require a lot of thinking when you get up to their higher SR levels because you're playing against good coaches, but I definitely do uh, find myself needing to think a lot in these games. Bring the guard this way to help out or this way just so it's further forward. I think we're going forward because I was going to lose another square of forward movement. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well, that was stupid. Okay, yeah. Sometimes we make silly mistakes. We're sidestepping here right to the sideline here. Bits up here. Maybe not. Let's go there. It's 
let's not block our own dodge out. That would be silly. Um, might be a rush on you, to be honest. That might be a rush. And on you, and on you, okay. So, do not blitz from there. Good. That's there, we don't need the rush, do we? That's fine. Good job, Collie. Getting out of trouble. Collie has dodge. Yeah, we had a very rough last game, but the one good thing that came out of it was Collie getting dodge. <laughs> the one thing. And she did use it already. Whew, it's tough. It's hard work against good coaches, isn't it? They always make good decisions and make this hard for you. Does get the power here. Doesn't murder us, that's very good. Might foul us with the stinky get dirty player. Has left the wolf based. Oh, oh fails a dodge. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do we foul that wolf? A million percent we foul that wolf because that is a mighty blow blodge wolf. So, uh, yes. Not even a question in my mind. We are going to foul that wolf. Um, don't want to blitz this because I could push it into range. Um, unless I blitz it with all the squares in front field, which we can maybe do. No, no, let's blitz the ghoul because the ghoul's got sneaky a dirty player and we don't like that. Let's, let's do that. Other thing instead. Let's give you a buddy. Let's pop you in here. Collie. Collie. Murder. Murder. It's not a murder, but it's something. So I'll, I'll allow it on this occasion. Um... I'll allow it on this occasion. Just once though. If she tries to do that again and not do a murder, I'll be cross. Someone's gonna have to rush if we want the most assists on this. I've got four re-rolls on turn six. I'm re-rolling. Hmm. Watch in awe as my first foul gets sent off. After all the fouls against us, they don't get sent off. Oh, hang on. Let's move you first. Missed you. Come on. We got sent off for a stun. Still got the bribe. It's like inevitable. Yeah, I swear to God. Mind. Like, I swear to God it starts to feel targeted. Like, how many times have opponents fouled us without getting sent off? We do, like, one foul on a piece that you just, like, have to foul, because look at it. And it's always caught. I didn't jinx it. The game has been jinxing it for the last hundred games we've played. Right, 
fouls by me sent off. Fouls by opponents not sent off. It's written in the code somewhere. Maybe it's an elf thing, Nakabaka. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Maybe it's all elves. But it's definitely all of my teams, which are all elves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like the amount of times we get fouled without getting our opponents caught. And then we try and do one every now and then. Well, that's because my underwell brought two bribes. <laughs> my underwell brought two bribes and sometimes a sneaky as well. Two bribes, maybe a bias ref. The underwell cheated. Often and effectively. Well, we do want the touchdown on Freezing Star now because we're trying to get them to sprint. Um, Okay. Not great. I give up some more hits here. I never got called when fighting with goblins, just saying. Oh man. We had some fun goblin runs in Blood Bowl too. The uh The Rebel Challenges Cup Goblin Run. One of my all-time favourite Blood Bowl experiences. All on YouTube, I think. Definitely the, like, the last games of it are. I think it all is. Oh, we're going to surf a leader thrower. Yeah, makes sense. Doesn't mean you're not punching this, I guess, because you can't do that and surf that. It's a KO. But yeah, pretty nice piece of surf. Okay, we're not surfing the throw. I'm gonna kill this instead. And watch now as they foul. I mean, this has got sneaky gear, but watch as it doesn't get caught. Watch, watch the inevitability. Jack Fowler's on any team except for ours. I think it hasn't broke, hasn't killed him. Well, that isn't the send off because it's sneaky gear, but it also did not kill us. That's nice. Um. We can actually hit that, can't we? Because you've got guard and you've got the movement. Oh, oh well. Got the touchdown. That's something. Okay, it doesn't come back. Well. They definitely can one turn, so we're going to have to risk some valuable players here. To rule out the one turn. I 
I'm pretty sure that makes the one turn impossible. Obviously, if they get a timeout, that might change things, but I don't think they can one turn against three sidestep. They can kill players that we like, but they can't one turn. <laughs> We've only got the one tackle, so we're just hoping that uh, at a hoping that we manage to not have the other ones fall over. The one that's on tackle probably will fall over, but the other two we have at least a chance. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Yep, I'm going to make this so it stays a two dice for the second hit. Doesn't need it. Okay, doesn't get us with the claws. Probably going to foul that if they don't knock over something else. Probably even if they do, because that was their first target, right? So it would make sense to foul that either way. Doesn't power here, may reroll. Does reroll, does power. Good job, Freezing Star. Just Kind Star left to go, Kind Star, Kind Star left to go. Six dice, because they will reroll. Oh, they didn't reroll. Oh, they can blitz still. They can blitz still. The blitz probably won't be on a three dice, though. So I probably would have rerolled that, I guess, just for the maximum. Well, the thing is that you might one in 27, and I don't know. I don't know. You might lose one dice here. Arixord, how are you? Thanks for the raid in. Oh, this will still be a three dice with block. So, okay, I'm wrong. Slightly reduces the number of assists you get for the foul, I guess. Your only downside here. How was your stream, Zord? Hope you had a wicked stream. So excited to start ZFL soon. I've been enjoying all the updates on coaching appointments, waiting to find out where Guinness has landed. Dice your rebel opponent. Admin dice abuses again. Ref, but literally, like, why, when, when will we see a referee send off an opponent? Like, how many fouls since our opponents last get sent off? And we got sent off the only one we did. <laughs> Woody side, left, right, and centre. No! Although you're on, like, nobility, aren't you, Zord? So that's, like, it feels less mean because it's nobility. <laughs> Normally I have to support the uh, what else, but... You are on ability, so. <laughs> uh, hmm. So we're on nine, which is fewer elves than we would like. Definitely, when you're talking about ideal numbers of elves to have around, nine is not the number that you think of. I think we should have to do a boring boat. Hmm. Turns out you've been playing nobles all wrong. How have you been playing them? Zero SVP line been killed the wardens. Oh god. Your poor opponent. Nine is not the ideal number unless you're playing sevens. True, if you're playing sevens and you've got nine uh, nine uh, elves on the pitch, you're probably doing quite well. <laughs> hey yeah, for stabsis. <laughs> Well, I think this will be a draw because we are only on nine and that's before the line of scrimmage. 
And as I was saying from the start, we're missing, we've got both of our sacking pieces MNG'd, we're missing our wrestle and our tackle. Um, but, um, at least we're ahead, so it's going to be up to Le Marseille if they want to win it, they're going to have to be aggressive. And if not, the draw isn't a disaster because they had like the same SR as us, so just keep us where we are. Oh no. <laughs> Great. Everyone's favourite uh, thing to see at the start of their opponent's drive. Free bribes. Free bribes. Fun on your drive, not fun on your opponent's drive. Oh, double skulls are nice though. Oh, could have been a quad skulls. No sure hands for the pickup, so if they end up having to spend another reroll on the pickup, that definitely can make things interesting. I'm fairly confident this might be some sort of record for most 3 0 wins in a season. Are you winning every game 3 0 with nobility? Or do you mean overall, like all the teams combined getting lots of 3 0 wins? Okay, <laughs> I was going to say otherwise that's just a bit of a power move. Double sixes against Dukes. Be strong, Dukes. Dukes was strong. Okay, well, they're going to still get the big foul, but they didn't remove anything with their blocks. So minimum eight players for 10. Uh, for 10, 10. It's not a good number, but like when you start with nine, you can definitely imagine it going worse. Oh my god. <gasps> it, oh, it's not actually sent off because they've got the bribe, but still. But still, they had to use the bribe. Do you know what? That was a really rowdy argue the call because if you succeed argue the call there, you keep your player on, but you also turn the ball, turn, you also have a turnover with the ball on the floor. So actually, like rolling a six there would have been bad for them. If they'd made that argue the call, there were going to be elves on that ball 100%. Um, okay, well, we have eight elves in total, but we have one, two, three, four, five who can do anything right now. Again, it's not the ideal number. If you would like my personal advice on how many elves is a good number of elves, I'm going to say that having only five that are ready to do things. It's not, it's not what you're ideally looking at. What happened in this or in Zord's game? Um, in this game, our opponent did a foul. They had the bribe, but they argued the call first. And if they had argued successfully, they hadn't picked the ball up yet. So if they had argued the call successfully, we would have been able to go and steal the ball. Which I think is something people always forget with argue the call. Like, it's still a turnover. Like, even if you make it. So, like, yeah. Like, sometimes, sometimes you need to remember that turnover part of it as well as the... Um, um, as well as just the keeping your player on the pitch. Yeah, they argue first. I think like you have to argue first if you're going to argue. And then you don't, do you? Yeah, no, because if you fail the bribe, it's, they don't give you a chance to, uh, to argue. At least in... At least in... Uh, oh, yeah, God. Um, well, it's going to be 2 into 2 either way. Let's do the version that leaves their wolf on our player, I guess. Uh, boo. Um, where is their goal for fouling? Don't think we're going to be able to stop them fouling. At least this way we reduce the number of assists. Second time that uh, Wolf has tried to dodge off uh, after doing a frenzy and has fallen over. Ooh, and now we have a brag to stomp on it with. But also, can we bother that ball? 
probably not because there's flesh golems here. Unless we just do a 3 plus with you. How far can movement 9 get us? 3 plus 3 plus, 1 dice on the ball. I mean, I've had worse ideas. <laughs> I've probably had better ideas. But I've definitely had worse ideas. <laughs> um, we could even 3, 4. And then 3, 3. Okay, we're just going to burn some bad dice here. It's all part of the plan, guys. It's all part of the plan. just gonna stand up no, you're just gonna stand up nope it's gonna be the same either way fouling that is a minus one right now Let me just count something because i might have a slightly better way than i thought here that's all choosing just the one three i'm gonna try it easy so now it is just a three plus three plus to hit this on two dice I think if we're going for it, you have to stand up first. I think at that point we're just in. Um, ah, damn it. Last dice. Last dice. Ugh. Shame. I mean, that was a real, like, win the drive situation there. If that goes our way. But even with that, like, failing, we've still got a uh, blodge step on the ball, right? And their only tackle is here with some stuff to worry about. So maybe it's okay. I don't know. Probably not, but... <laughs> Okay, just push there, that's good. We've got the old twitchy leg going for chat. Chat, you're having a hard time with your leg. Okay, gets power here. They haven't currently freed up the wolf to hit this. I don't want to take the power. Well, they, they need to take the power either, either way because they haven't got block. But they need just deciding whether to follow, I guess. Oh, wait, that was the ball carrier? What? So you're very confident you're knocking this down, aren't you? Or are we just we're going to fill every square? It's a few squares to fill. You've got to fill here, 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 and here. Oh, one dice skull. Oh, that's taking some risks to free up this wolf. I suppose it's a two plus instead of a three plus, but yeah. Costs you a reroll. Okay, so now you've got this free to do the two into two with the tackle. Um, I think we go this way. Firstly, because then if you power, at least we keep going this way and, and mean they have to bring players back to do the foul. Also, because if we don't hit us a second time, if you don't get the power again, then we can come back down and be on the ball with no free hit for them. Like that. Okay, so we are going to have players on the ball. I'm so... Why don't... You have the option to like take a power here as well and not be on the ball. Some really rowdy choices. I'm 
I'm sure they're going to file something. Presumably this. Because it's a valuable piece. We're going to have a hit on this. Like, we're definitely going to have a hit on this this turn. So, that's something. Maybe even two. Does get the KO here. Hmm. I think we probably have to live with that, don't we? Okay, so if you go there. And that's just two dice, isn't it? Because we've got the guard assist here. It's also cancelling all of those. So we just need to get you there. Don't think we're standing the other ones up yet because all could be interesting for recovery. Come on, game. Don't let them get away with this. Good. Um, okay. Well, they got away with it in a different way. Um, well, I guess we've got to put you on there then. And then we probably are standing you up now. And... You could be a chain push, so probably not. And bring you... Don't bring you around there, because we sank. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Magnet hands! Oh my god, I should have known with Viking Chop in chat. I should have known with Viking Cop in chat there was only one ending to that story. Well, they are down to just the one reroll, so there is that. This is a really bad snake. Like this would have been so nice to have in front. Um Yeah, it goes in with the mice bird, why not? gonna be hard yeah just having this in front would have made such a difference because this now is gonna be hard to bring down right because it's a flesh golem <laughs> it's also exactly the player they want to score on um it's the one with four spp i hate that my show doesn't work on both downs i don't mind that change <laughs> as an elf coach my show working on fewer things i'm okay with it is that a non-block wolf? No, the wolf's got block. They both got block. The um, other one with, should be knocked down with the ball just has block, nothing else. I had this catcher free at the back to do shenanigans if that ball had scattered through. I was I was quietly excited about the possibility when it started scattering that we might get to do a, a punt. Because you don't get to punt very often in Blood Bowl 3. Ah, oh, full power on the bludger. Nah, it's not going well for us. Not the dice we've needed these last uh, couple of turns. We got some good ones, like we got the power on the ball and stuff, but just needed a couple more breaks for this to go from quite good to really good. And instead it's gone the other way. Oh yeah, that's. I think that's drive over. Man, because the snake as well. think that's drive over. Don't think we'll find a way back from this. Uh, 
I say, but we will try. It literally is every single time we do a foul, we get caught. Like, it's 100% of the time. Think how many times our opponents have been fouling us. And it's taking like four, five fouls without even getting caught once. We've done two fouls tonight. Both caught. Not even for breaking armor on that. Like, just for nothing. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have fouled without the bribe. <laughs> I just wish there was a bit of, like, evenness in the outcomes of these fouls. They're just, like, they're so swingy, and we lose all of them. Like, we lose every single one of those, like, what should be back-and-forth luck situations on the on the bribes. On the fouls, sorry. Like, even the one time they finally got caught in this game... They still didn't get sent off because they had the bribe, <laughs> which was given to them for free. Same as ours. Um, like, just once could someone get sent off for an opponent and could we do one foul without getting sent off? That's that's the level I'm asking for. One, one example of each to convince me it's not just hard-coded somehow. One time we do a foul, don't get sent off. One time an opponent gets a foul and does get sent off. I think I'm basing up too much here. I don't know, I'm just hoping something will fail for them because we're on the last reroll. But probably it wasn't a good enough plan for trying to get those fails. We still have the one blodge stepper, so like my ideal scenario is we just get that on this flesh golem and make their life hard, but getting them onto the flesh golem is the challenge at the moment. Because we haven't got a lot of elves to help. We need to follow here because we need you out of the way. Oh my god. <laughs> Another snake. Oh, oh well. Oh well, it's a draw. It's not the end of the world. Um, it definitely uh, feels like a draw where like it could have been a win. But also like we had some wins that could have been draws. So sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Snake the armor too. Who was that? Is anyone important? Spleggy. Spleggy is important, but Spleggy might also be dead. Sorry, Spleggy. I think we snaked the injury, not the armor, because we did break armor here, didn't we? Yeah, I feel it's it's definitely like the the, the ideal player it's landed on for Le Marseille, like a strength four player, so it's hard for us to sack, and uh, exactly the player they'd want to get the SVP on.
been an evening of missed opportunities. Like, both games we've had sacking opportunities that have been really, like, close to happening but didn't quite happen. I guess this one did happen, we just didn't get the recovery. MNG. Have to live with that again, not caught. Really need to see a pal here. So we don't. Sometimes you just need to stay lying down, and I think those linemen just need to stay lying down. Do you know, maybe I was wrong on that, because maybe... You just roll the dice and probably it fails, but if you make all of those dodges and you can tag those two zombies, it makes it a slightly more awkward store because it is turn 15, right? And some of their team isn't very fast. So maybe, like, you should do those dodges even though they're not likely to succeed, just because if they do, it could be good. Maybe. I don't know, though. Where's the blitz? Like you just go for an easy target, or do you go for this one? Because you haven't got um, the tackle that this would now. Yeah, do that and make a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, I think. Okay, didn't get the pal. I still have the movement to come round. No, okay, that's good. It means we can at least we can at least try something in the last turn, which is what you want, right? Like you don't want to have no chance if we're only dice the last turn. Oh my god. I mean, I knew this thing was going to be bad for us, to be fair, but... Again, like, it's literally, like, it's not possible. If you're playing against Miss Fell Tree, it is not possible to have your players sent off. That's just not a thing. Let's dream. Dream denied. And normally I would say you shouldn't foul here because uh, you don't want to risk the... Uh, touchdown but in their case I would say foul because you can't get caught because you're playing against me there's no such thing as a send off <laughs> it's every game Viking Cop last game as well like our opponent was doing like four plus dodges to foul us all coming off um, right after our four plus cage dive failed um, and they didn't have a bribe or a sneaky get they just had dirty players didn't matter It's a madness. Like opponents just cannot fail uh, fouls against this. That's what you call an angry coach. Me? I don't know if I'm angry. I'm annoyed. I'm not angry. It's different. I'm exasperated. 
I've been much angry in Blood Bowl. <laughs> You'll know when I'm angry. I'll drop the F-bombs when I'm angry. This hurt my insides. What did? Well, there's no way this can go well unless we get a timeout. So we just set up for a timeout and hope. I think involves just punching everyone on one side, to be honest. Well, they haven't won. It's a draw. Um, and... Uh, And everything they were going for was like to generate SVP, so I don't have a problem with that. Like, turn 16 fouling, I'm not a fan of, but they weren't actually fouling, even though I said they could, because no one gets caught. They were just uh, trying to get some more SVP, and I think that's fair enough. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to say anyone shouldn't do that. Oh my god, we did another snake. We really started snaking that second half, didn't we? Wow. Three snakes that half. Well, as predicted, because we started on the same SR, no one really lost anything from that. Just stayed where we were. The most annoying part of that, honestly, is just that um, we're out, out of catcher again for the next game. Um, other than that, everything's kind of fine. It wasn't a permanent injury on Lioness, on Virtual Monkey, though, so they can just stay there. Spleggy, I'm sorry, but the serious injury on Zero SPP is end of the line. Ek, I'll roll the general on you because if it's good, mate, no. Sorry, Ek, also the end of the line for Ek. <laughs> uh, so that makes that easier. Um, so now we have 11 for next game, so we're going to sign one. Is this the moment to buy ourselves a rookie catcher and see what we can do? I did not like playing with two catchers. So maybe we sign a rookie catcher here. I don't know if I'm going to give it a name with the positional list because I was kind of happy with the three catches. Surprisingly, I was happy with the three catches up till now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename Guinness and Duke and Chat because they're now permanent linemen so they can be people out of the list. And Guinness is going to be our catcher for a game because I don't know if I'm going to stick with four catches. It's a difficult one because in general, I do like having all four catches. But I also, um, my name is Lapa. Thank you for the uh, prime sub. Welcome to the weirdos. Um, what have the other catches got? No, that's uh, for the blitzers then. Okay, they haven't got anything fancy here. They have got the... Do they? I'm trying to make your match, guys. What's different? Different... Arm? There we go. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, probably there. Yeah, I, I like having all four catches on Alpha Union in general, but for the ladder, I've been, I was finding like that I felt like we were in a sweet spot for the right like TV level for our spins, so I didn't want to like add the fourth catcher. Um, DC, how are you, DC? How is your stream? Uh, so I need to rename Chat and Guinness. Let's go to our list. If I can work out how to do that. Create a dashboard. Mm 
Mm. I do play some tabletop episodes. Do you know I still haven't played um, for I haven't played with gnomes or against gnomes yet. I want to. I'm looking forward to it, and it still hasn't happened for me. Um, I have a gnome team, which at some point, who knows, I might actually build it and uh, paint it. But as I keep saying, I don't own a table to do that on at the moment and I keep not getting a table so <laughs> until I do that really fundamental part of getting myself a table um, that isn't going to happen yet <laughs> Rick Reckless replaces chat on the team things are going to go better now guys because we've got Rick Reckless on the team flip me flip me Rick Reckless is on the team and uh Guinness becomes shoebox. Dizzy loves gnomes, right? Like, ask about gnomes and guess who appears? Dizzy Vess, gnome supremo, from what I hear about UKTC. What time is it? 10.30. Oh, starting another game at 10.30 feels like might not be the idea. Oh, in fact, should do the um, wrap things up for YouTube. Uh, that was game number 24 of the Elf Union run. We've, we've hit a bump in the road. We were so close to Master and then we took a loss and a draw. But we're still really close. If you're enjoying the uh, content on YouTube, please do hit that like and subscribe.